I'm Beatrix Gates, librettist for The Singing Bridge, a chamber opera, music by Anna Demska, conception and libretto by Beatrix Gates, world premiere at the Stonington Opera House, Stonington, Maine, 2005. I will read from scene four, Betrayal. The Singing Bridge is a story of loss, betrayal, and community connection set in Downeast, Maine in 1946 and 1960, where the history of the working coast, construction of the bridge, and long-held community ties reach across time. In scene four, Betrayal, teenager Lizzie, Elizabeth Lightstone, secret daughter of local Maine girl Alice True and glaciologist Professor Edward Blood, returns as summer help for Lillian Blood, her grandmother. Lizzie knows nothing of her origins and falls under the spell of her father, who takes advantage. The chorus echoes inner states of the characters, the natural world, and the sentiments of the coastal village. Betrayal. Lizzie Lightstone on the Hancock Shore, 1960, Discovering Maine. Edward Blood, who's been watching, strolls up. I'm Edward Blood. Lizzie pokes fish in a bucket. I'm Lizzie Lightstone, Mrs. Blood's new helper. Can you fillet a flounder? Look at the eye. Does it see you? Does it see me? What's it like to see the world split in two? Edward pulls a knife from his belt, eviscerates the fish. Finger in the eye, thumb behind the gill plate. Edward pulls out a compass, hands it to Lizzie. A little something to help you find your way, Miss Elizabeth Lightstone. Isn't True North not really true? True North is a fiction, the up-down axis of the earth. It is not, nor can it ever be, magnetic north. A bending of the facts, a slight alteration, dangerous in some ways, advantageous in others. You live across the bridge, the singing bridge, just across the bridge in Sullivan Harbor. Edward grabs Lizzie, covers her eyes, twirls her. What direction are we facing? Just a wee little test of your bearings. I, I hear the bell on Crabtree Ledge. I'm facing southeast. You know the markers of the bay. How quick you are, Lizzie. Lizzie shivers. You're cold. Take my sweater. He wraps it around her, pulls out a hip flask with an impish look. This will warm you up. Lizzie giggles, takes a swig, shivers. Whoa, what's that? Vodka. It's hot and cold all at once. I like it. School, school. Vodka has no odor. It's a secret warmer upper. No one knows if you've had a warm up or not. Skull, skull, let's go to my house. I'll let you drive my car. Across the bridge? Mrs. Blood says the grates are really slippery, so you go all wee-wah when you drive. Wee-wah, hee-haw. Edward and Lizzie laugh. Edward feeds her another drink. I have maps galore of the ocean floor traced by the keel of an iceberg. Tell me about the ice cap. I see pictures when you talk. The Laurentide ice sheet advances, retreats. Edward downs another vodka. Accumulation, snow, rain, wind, and avalanche, all that adds to the glacier's advance. Ablation, melting, evaporation, all that defines a glacier's retreat. The Laurentide ice sheet. Lizzie, dizzy, sits at Edward's feet. Half the earth's story lies inside the core of ice. The other half is fire rising under stone. Beryl blue her eyes. Granite, the toughest crust, hardens from melting fire. Magma, blood of the earth, erupting mountain root. Magma, plasma, fires are in my blood. Lizzie, Alice, light ones at the core, blue-green crystals, barrel blue. 
Glacier claws through the belly of the earth, crystals shearing stones to mountain spires. Pale shoulders, blue-green crystals, barrel blue, my hands, her eyes, Alice, Lizzie, the Laurentide ice sheet advances, retreats, twinning history in spirals of time. Alice, Lizzie, I'd like to live a hundred million years Frozen in time with you, I feel all melty under your eyes. You're the one with the killer eyes. Co-mingle with me. Alice, Lizzie, my Lizzie, my Alice, Beryl blue, pale shoulders, your eyes, my hands. Edward and Lizzie dance. Lizzie follows, Edward spins, you must keep from the cold, young Lizzie. Keep me, keep me, keep me from the cold, Lizzie. Lizzie, keep me. We'll cross to my house. <laughs>